M100 with Tony and the Disco is brought to you by Bet Online. Bet Online is your number one source for the NBA and the NHL playoffs this season. Every stat, every matchup, and even live odds while the games are being played. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in on a game of blackjack or poker. The run line was one of our over 150 slots games. Head to the website today to get in on the action. Don't forget to use the promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A D, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. This is an interesting one, Cody. We're going to go this last email. Yes. We're going to go uh, going to go over this categorically. Two okay. for a turn. Um. So uh, it's from Pop- Popo Gigio, and the subject is a Sportster article. Hello. Hey, there's, an article a there's an article from a news site. There's an article from a news site. Use that very generously. The Sportster called Things AEW Does Better Than WWE, where this writer gives his take. Aside from licensing music, do you agree with anything in this article? Better pay-per-views? No way. I like their multiple companies to watch, but just seems blatantly dishonest. All right, so so Joe, let me... Okay, hang on. I'm just going to read the headlines, all right? Go back to the beginning. Oh, is this the first one? This is the first one. Okay, AEW pay-per-views are the best in professional wrestling history. That's strictly based on Dave Meltzer's star ratings for the matches, period. Okay, the production quality, the pay-per-views aren't even cl- remotely close. Okay, to can I just say something? Go ahead, go ahead yeah. Bro, I see this a lot where they put over AEW, like they'll say stuff like, oh, Tony Khan, you know, the new boy genius who's giving WWE and people that don't follow wrestling. I actually feel those are all paid for, but Tony Khan this. Right. Yeah, like and 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 articles in Forbes. You're exactly right. Yeah, the boy right. genius. And this, you know. Bro, it's them bot armies. There's like bots that like these these tweets are like the, the identical talk about AEW like like word for word from different accounts you know so uh, AEW is better at building relationships with the, with the wider wrestling world uh, the WWE Not is anymore. actually trying to, trying to change it right? we just discussed that in this email thing keep going Joe okay. uh, tag team wrestling is better in AEW than AEW that has ever been in WWE that's it's laughable the why are they booked properly. Like the tag team division is ridiculous there. AEW's entrance music blows WWE out of the water. Really? Well, like the, the ones that they pay they for, done? the ones they pay for. Yeah. That's not even, there aren't even that, those cool songs. No, they I have like some cool MJF's ones. MJF's got a good song. MJF's nah, season, that's way, not a way, cool way, song. The Wayward Son song? That's uh, like a night nice, a medium. No, I like the ones like the Orange Cassidy one. What What's that one? A Wild Dean. Thing by Moxley? Like how old, how outdated is that? Yeah, but they're classics. <laughs> uh, that's arguable. I, I'd say I Final Countdown say, for uh, Brian Daniels. I, I, well, I like say, Final Countdown a lot. Right, I like it? Orange Cassidy's. What's his? I thought it was Sweet Jane, but he ch- it used to be Where's My Mind, and then he changed it. I keep going, Joe. Yeah, the ones that yeah, they Jane, that they paid like right starships. No, oh, right. I like that. Going down the thing, please. I got it. I was looking up something for. Uh, AEW utilizes and pushes young talent better than WWE. Give me a no, point. they don't. Keep going. It's absurd. <laughs> Keep going. Yep. Um, but the I will match quality in AEW is more consistent than WWE. That's according to Dave Meltzer. I, I think their match quality stinks. To be honest with you, because all the matches they do the exact same spots in every match. Million. They have some. Up. They have some good. They have some great matches. Right, that's that. That one's debatable. Sure. That that one's I won't. AEW crowds are usually more energetic and engaged than WWE crowds. They just the AEW crowds repeat the predetermined chance. I don't even think that's a, that's a legit like that's an emotional crowd response on that show. Just this is uh, I think that, Joe do this. Pull up, um, go to um, uh, YouTube, okay. And while we're doing this, find the the uh, karaoke version of We Will Rock You, okay. All right, I want you to play that for this for this thing. AW crowds are usually more energetic, and engaging. They're they're absolutely, dude. What I want to I want to show another thing too, another clip. I'm I'm, I'm going to send you this clip to, to your Twitter. This will be an interesting segment here. We can talk about this. Okay, um, do you have the song yet? Okay, AW is a larger variety of match types and styles in WWE. I mean, you talk about you, CZW. Deathmatch wrestling is like, okay, fine. Whatever. That's not something to do better. Professional wrestler veterans and legends have been used better in AEW. Sting was used better? Bro, they, they bring these people on and like, 
Okay, I don't know. Uh, and that's it. No, AEW always feels fresher than WWE with new matchups. Well, they have fr- they have matchups with guys I don't know any clue who they are. Um, and by the way, they're leaving a lot of stuff on the table. Joe, pull up first off the um, uh, the karaoke version. Okay. Do you have it yet? Mm-hmm. I just think in general, WWE has a better product. And bro, it was just proved when their number three brand beat their number one brand. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They weren't even going head to head. I I think they should put NXT head to head with Dynamite. Okay. Ready? Press play. One, two, oh, one, two, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. One, two, oh, one, two, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. You still got it. Oh, oh, you still got it. You still got it. One, two, oh, one, two, oh. Forever. And then they show the referee pouring around it. Right, that's enough. Joe, do you like the, my version of uh of the, the AW it. song? <laughs> I do. All right. Um Joe, pull up this. Night uh NWO entrance nineteen ninety seven on YouTube. Okay. The one with Rodman. Yes. I want you to watch this, Conan. And I want you to I want this is gonna bring up about how this guy thinks that AEW fans are more engaging. Okay, because I want to. I want you to watch this segment now. Do you have it yet? Yeah, but the quality. Let me get another one. Hang on, let me send you the one I have. I got I it. Wanna, it's a, it's a good one. It. Okay, cool. Okay, now mind you, this is 1997. All right, um, we're killing them in the ratings. We're going to Chicago three days after the Bulls have just won the NBA title, okay? And there's 16,000 people in the arena. It's completely sold out, okay? Watch the fans when they when they, when they they come out into the arena. Okay, pretty press play. The home of the world champion, Chicago Bulls. Tonight is the home of professional wrestling number one program, Night Zone Live. And oh my goodness, that is an NWO limousine. Here's Tony Schiavone, Larry Zavitio, Mike Panay. And there they are, the Rat Pack. As they make their way here, Lily and Celebration Ticker Trade Parade with City of Champions. So we hey, up the deep. No, I say you call mom until you meet the feel pumped up with that. Like he said, he's calling that. Let's go. Let me go forward. No, first keep first play. I want to watch the whole thing. Yeah, he wants you to okay. see the fan reaction. Yeah, why don't you watch this whole thing? It's not, it's not that long. When, when they when they come, and it's worth it. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Now there's a pair of world champions out there. You got a bit of Ross last night, and my you hear who you know. The madness, the outsider for the big man, the six pack. You better be Who's the guy by Nash? Oh, that six pack. Six pack. Oh, Oh, Bishop is over there, too. Yeah. Look look at all the name. Star power there. Listen to Buffer here. Listen to Michael Buffer. This, This is so perfect. Gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. We took it to places packed. Now look at the fans. The opening moment okay. WCW Monday Night Drive. Paul Puckett, Dennis Rodman, 
together, Eric Bittell and you see Doug Dillon? I mean, bro, like oh, the fans are like trying to touch them. It's like, brother, like that's the engaged fans. The, they're huge. They're trying to touch the guys because they're, bro, you watch fans today. They like sit there like they're scared to be on television. You, you, you press stop. You can, you can stop it now, John. But I'm just saying, like, you know, bro, fans like back then would like want to be on TV. They want to have their sign. They're acting crazy. It's like fans today sit there. They see the spot. They go, oh, one, two, oh. Then they, they, they sit there and sit there and see the clap. This is awesome. This, like, that's not engaged. Like, that's being engaged. Like, people, like, they want to, your front row, you want to, like, touch a guy. You want to give the things. Like, just, you know, I don't know. So that's what I would say to that, um, to that guy that wrote the sports article. He's just way off on everything. And obviously a huge, like you said, it sounds like a, like a paid advertisement, right, Conan? Yep. Yeah. So, all right. So that's been the mailbag. Enjoy the rest of the show. Boom. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh. Thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.